Okay, welcome back to the beginner series for Kali Linux. We're gonna start part three, IP tables. So we're gonna set up IP tables, firewall monitoring, and observe the traffic. We'll also deny some packets, which is dropping the packets going across the network. So the very first thing we'll do is, let's check IP tables and just type it out. So I'm gonna cancel those things, I'm gonna clear my screen, and I'll type IP tables dash L. I'll see if I have anything listed right now. Well, there's nothing listed right there. Now, I'm not looking for a lot of things that IP tables does carry, but I can see just right off the bat, the input, forward, and output is blank. And I know this system doesn't really have anything running. The next one is I'm going to turn on logging. So if we look right there, IP tables dash A input dash J log. This is case sensitive, so IP tables dash A input dash J log. Now, I am putting double spaces in sometimes in the video where you can see a double space. The only reason that I'm inserting double space is for ease of use, I mean, for ease of uh, visibility. That's it. Just so you can see what it looks like with uh, the command separating the switches. All right, now that we started this logging, let's tail, which is the next command over here, tail dash F var log syslog. To stop it, press Control C. So we'll tail dash F var log syslog. You can see that we've got a lot of traffic going across, and that is all being recorded in our log, which it's going to take up a lot of disk space really fast. So let's go ahead and flush out that IP table. The way we do that is IP tables dash F, and that flushes it. IP tables dash F. So what we've done so far is we looked at the IP tables with an IP tables dash L, that's optional. Um, and then we logged everything going to and from our machine. And that was with the logging command right there. Then we flushed it, returning IP tables back to where we were. Now next, we're only going to look at ping packets. That dash P1 stands for protocol number one. ICMP is actually protocol number one, IP is protocol four, TCP is protocol six, and UDP is protocol 17. So when you look at those protocol numbers, uh, you can abbreviate a lot of what you do just using their IANA number. So if you wanna do that, you can go specify the protocol numbers. Now these are not ports, these are protocols. So the protocol is different than a port. So in this case, we're going to IP tables, A input, P1, J log. So IP tables, A input, and right here, I'm going to put dash P1, J log. Now, if I do list it, I should list these occasionally. You'll see what it looks like when we list it. That should be part of it, probably the IP tables dash L. So we can see right there, we're logging ICMP. We'll go back to our, our tail and look at ICMP. Notice there's not a lot of ICMP going on. I put a line right there so we can see where, this, where it scrolls. I can go over here and I can ping something. I'll do dash C1. And when I do that, you'll see a single ping packet come up and get logged right here tells us what protocol it was, ICMP, and it tells what the destination was and the source. So the uh, original packet I sent out was from 192.168.1.1, that was going out from me, and then you can see the reply coming back, and that is the source was the router, and the destination was me. So right now, because I'm only looking at input, I'm looking at responses coming back to my PC. Right, close that. And once again, IP tables dash F and dash L. We can see that we flushed IP tables again. Now let's go over and let's drop any kind of ping packet that comes across. So we'll see what that looks like. Dale, no, where we, where we, there we go. Instead of dash J log, we're going to deny it or drop. So I'm gonna press enter. Now I'm gonna go ping myself, or I'm gonna ping, actually, let's do this. I'll say, ping the gateway. 
Now my packets can get out, but they can't get back in. So my computer cannot see the response from the gateway. And because it can't see the response coming back over ICMP, I cannot complete a single ping, ping back and forth from the gateway. So 100% packet loss. If we wanna ping that, let it run. I'll go over here and I will, I could say allow, but you know what? I'm just gonna flush it. There we go, I'm gonna flush the rules. And as soon as I do that, you can see the pings come right in. So that was it. We're now done with our IP tables introduction.